I remember that they flew us to Rome to shoot in the Colosseum, in a fake Colosseum, down the street from the real one. The little teenager version of me is freaking out right now. Uh -huh. I used to sit at home with your CD-ROMs. I'd open the booklet and I would sit and I would study them. Like it was the most important exam of my life, trying to get every single lyric. So Pink, what an honor. That makes me so happy. I used to do the same thing, but I was doing it with cassettes. I want to start off just by celebrating Trustfall and getting a better understanding of the meaning behind the album title. Well, thank you. Um, Trustfall is, I feel like being alive in 2023 and, and getting out of bed in the morning requires a certain amount of trust. I think being uh, a mom and a human being in a relationship, having close friendships, dropping your kids off at school, participating in elections. I mean, you, you name it. It's, it's a trust fall. It's, it's, and you feel like a lot of the time you're falling backwards and you don't know when the ground is coming. So, and as you get older too, you start to ask yourself, what is authentic? What's real? And, and you kind of have to just trust yourself too. You have to learn how to trust yourself and let the rest go. At this phase in your life, do you feel like you can trust yourself? Oh yeah, I'm yeah. fully trustworthy. I will say the wrong thing just like I thought I was gonna. <laughs> 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 and I will laugh when it's all said and done. Yeah, no, I trust me. I gotta ask Pink, like if you take a step back, like are you having a good time right now? It feels like you're having a lot of fun. I am having so much fun. I'm having so much fun. I get to have fun at at work and I get to have fun at home with my babies. And I, yeah, it's great. Uh, the problem is this, right? It's, it's, it's happy and okay, if the world is ending, then let's just dance. And it's also like, oh, it hurts. It, this hurt, it hurts to be adulting, it hurts. You've got to feel everything. And I think that's what, is so exciting to me about you as an artist. Like you continuously push the boundaries, both physically in your performances, musically, but that takes a lot of energy. Like what continues to drive you to do what you do? Anger, frustration. <laughs> <laughs> but also I love what I do too. I get to hang from things. I get to be shot into the air. I, I love performing. I love it. I've worked my butt off to be able to do it and I'm good at it. And I just, and I, you know, as long as we're alive and engaged in the world, we're going to have things we want to say, especially these days. When you think about your legacy, I mean, how do you want people to think of you and to remember you both as an artist, but also as a mother? Cause that's obviously very important to you as well. Oh God. I don't know. Truthful, truth seeking. Mm. Just uh available to be uncomfortable i guess now i wonder if uncomfortable is what will come to mind when i ask you this way back playback with me 19 years ago you were in like you know a little cute tiny commercial no it was actually massive pepsi commercial with britney and beyonce and enrique and it is still so iconic to this day i mean what do you remember most from that production and putting that together i remember that they flew us to rome to shoot in the Colosseum, in a fake Colosseum, down the street from the real one. And that's when I was like, oh, there's such a thing as Pepsi money. This is pep. This is a Pepsi money decision. And uh, getting to work with Brian May and Roger was kind of amazing. I mean, they're amazing. To work with Queen at that stage in your career is pretty awesome. I think it was like 2001, you came and did an interview and you said something so powerful and you said, music still has a long way to go in terms of who's allowed to perform certain genres. I was, that was a long time ago, that was 22 years ago. I mean, how do you feel the music landscape has changed and has it changed for the better? I think in some ways it has changed for the better because we're all mutts and we're genreless and we get to do, you know, it's, I think, there's just less boxes and we have young bloods and Billie Eilish's and um, I think it's really cool. I think it's 
cooler now than it was before. There, some for some reason people needed a formula then. There isn't a really one set formula now. I mean, you say Billie Eilish and Youngblood. I mean, they're constantly surprising people. Like you don't know what they're gonna wear next to a carpet, what their music video is gonna feel like, what their sound is gonna be. It's exciting, it's unknown. And Little Nas X as well. Yeah, there's a lot of really cool people doing doing their own thing, which I love. Someone who's also always doing cool stuff, Christina Aguilera. Now, I gotta ask, are we ever gonna hear that collaboration that the two of you did that has that is unreleased? No idea. No idea. I'm putting it out. I love full out. circle moments though. That's the point, right? Like, yeah. Cena and I went through our stuff before and full circle moments, like the trust fall video, right? I had a falling out. I did, I did a what about us with Georgia Hudson. And then her and I had kind of a falling out. And then I thought of her again for trust fall. And I just called her and I was like, Hey, do you want to work with me again? And she was like, she was crying because she was so happy to not have to be able to put a period on the end of the sentence and to have mm. it be a wonder, you know, I love full circle moments. I love when we can forgive and, and move on and do something wonderful. Touring is something that I feel like our entire office is so excited about. And of course, there's a show, a couple of shows here in Canada, which is so rad. And I know you're someone who's talked very openly about how important it is to stay healthy, both physically, but also, of course, with regards to your mental health. So as you're getting ready to go on this massive tour, I'm curious, what are some tools in your toolbox to make sure that you stay healthy, both, of course, physically, but more importantly, almost your mental health? Being around that many people, um, as you know, you have to just, uh, you have to have a safe space for yourself. And, um, for me, it's all about just self care, checking in. Sometimes I meditate sometimes exercise for me is all about mental health, um, and physical, but yeah. And finding time to just laugh with your friends or watch. I'm really intentional too now about what I read, what I watch, what, what goes in because watching the news every day, it's just, it's no, I can't, I can't do it. Um, no. And making sure you take time away from social media is something I've learned. <laughs> she says with a little hesitation. <laughs> Yeah, I don't send them all. I don't send all of them. Very smart. You need a filter. Um, and lastly, off this latest album, which is the track you're most excited to perform live in front of thousands and thousands of people? Oh, I got to say Trustfall right now. I've got to say Trustfall because it just feels like a, like a really lovely exorcism. Like the video? Then hit the button, or better yet, drop us a comment. Then check out our latest videos here. And don't forget to subscribe by hitting the button here for more celebrity interviews and entertainment news.